Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a framing video. I thought I would show you how I am framing my Harry Potter diamond painting from DIY Moon Shop that I did. This is the frame that I ordered. It is a metal frame. I could not get, I wanted like that blue shade and they didn't have it, but I thought this would still look really good. So this is the same place that I ordered um, the other frame for, for the Rainbow Peacock Woman, um, pictureframes.com. I will link it down below. Then the reason why I wanted to show you, this is a 30 by 30, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently than I did the Rainbow Peacock Woman. So first what I'm going to do, I have a piece of foam core and the acrylic. I need to peel off the clear plastic layer on that. But what I am first going to do is instead of putting the diamond painting on the foam core and wrapping the border around the outside, I'm actually going to cut this border off and just stick it directly onto the foam core. So as always, the very first thing that I do when I, before I frame something, so I will take my clean toothbrush and brush over the whole thing to get off any residue of wax or whatever. And I try to clean off the wax as I'm going along when I'm diamond painting if there is any that, because sometimes I put too much wax in my pen. And then after that, I will take my roller and just roll over the whole thing to make sure the diamonds are really, really stuck down. And I think I'd already done this earlier. That's why I don't hear any clicking. Okay, now we are going to cut off the border. And I just use the same process as I do when I cut off the border when I put a diamond painting in my portfolio. I'm going to get as close as I can to the diamonds without actually cutting the diamonds. This is going to be a little hard for me to demonstrate. Well, I should be able to do it this way. I know I got to be in an angle because otherwise the camera, I'd be hitting it. And there is a little bit of border that's left there, and that's okay, because you're not going to see that once it's in the frame. And it takes a minute to get it lined up. I realize I'm somehow shaking the table, which is, sh oh, it's because the, the camera tripod was like butt up against the table. So it's not now. So and I'm also going to, instead of putting the double sided stitchery tape on the front of the foam core, I'm going to use my spray adhesive that I use when I put something in a portfolio. So that will save me a little bit of time because it takes a, it takes quite a bit of time to put that double-sided sticky tape on the, um, on the back of the, on the foam core. And 
And I literally just use a box cutter. This is a really good box cutter. This is by Scotch Brand. I got this at Office Depot, I think. I really like it. Okay. So now that border is cut off all nice and neat. Now it is time to get it onto the foam core. All right, here's the foam core. Before I even spray adhesive on it, I'm gonna put this on here just to see. Yes, oh yes, yes. That will fit perfectly. All right. I have, normally I would try to do this outside. It is freezing outside today. I have this Amazon box that I saved from one of my shipments. And what I do is I will lay the diamond painting in there. I mean the foam core. I also have a box of rubber gloves because I do not like to get any of the adhesive on my hands. The adhesive I use when I do my um, portfolio diamond paintings, I use this Gorilla Spray Adhesive. It works really good. So I'm going to put some latex gloves on. Now, when, when I do my portfolio, I spray the back of the diamond painting, actually. This time, though, I'm going to spray the foam core just because um, when I put my diamond paintings in my portfolio, I don't want to spray the adhesive on the paper. And I, I usually put like the, the lid of the box up so it it helps the oh, no, let me take my glasses off. It helps um, keep like the spray from getting on everything. And I just really spray. Make sure you get all the edges. Like I said, I usually will try to take this box outside and do it just because it can be a little bit um, pungent with the fumes. But that actually wasn't too bad. All right. Then I'm very carefully going to pick this up. Ooh, that is pungent now that I took it out. And now I'm going to put the diamond painting and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my roller again and I'm going to roll over it to really make sure it's stuck down. And it does, it really sticks it down flat. This is a lot easier than doing it the other way I did it. I think I'll be doing it like this way from now on. It's easier than wrapping the, um, just really want to make sure that's pressed down there. Um, it's a lot easier than um, the other way I did it. This just took a lot less time. Okay, so now we're ready to put the frame together. It's that simple. First, I'm going to peel off the protective covering on either side of this acrylic. And someone asked me in a previous video, do I clean the acrylic? I don't. Um, you can wipe it like, you can wipe it with a cloth if you want to. Maybe I should clean it because this is like sticking. Oh, there it went. I, I've never had a problem with the acrylic being like dusty or dirty. But they do include like a piece, you know, they have a, a protective covering on both sides. I try to touch just the corners of the um, acrylic when I'm peeling this off. And there is some residue on it. Or is that, it's like staticky. It's like a piece of, there, I got it. I thought I did. Okay. 
Get off of my hand. It like wants to keep coming back and sticking. That's so weird. Come on now. Okay. Man, this stuff is staticky. Okay, I'm going to lay that over there. Now, my least favorite part, assembling the frame. You guys know, if you've watched it before me, I just framed a piece, what, last week? Well, by the time you see this, it will probably be more than a week, but... I will need those clips. But yeah, I really love the metal frames from um, pictureframes.com. The, the line is called Fiesta. They're just gorgeous, bright, and I'm all about that. I'm all about bright. All right, let's do this. I will probably stop talking now and just fast forward this part. Oh my God, already I'm having an issue. Um, I'll fast forward this part so you guys don't have to watch me in real time fumble with this. Oh, Jesus Christ right now. Yeah, I'm going to stop talking. Then the diamond painting upside down because this is the back of the frame. This one went together a lot easier than my other one did. I think I finally, finally got it like locked down how to do it. I am going to adjust these up here because I see them. Like I said, kind of custom framing is not for everyone because it can be a little bit pricey. Um, I'm trying to think what this frame cost. I think this frame cost me $40. I had a 20% off coupon. And um, what was nice was for my next order, because I ordered this one, they had given me a coupon for um, flat shipping of $9.99. Because normally shipping is like $20. Bucks. It can be pretty, it can be really pricey. But they ship it, like, really good. They pack it really well. Nothing is broken. It comes by UPS. So you once they ship it, you get it, you know, within, like, two days. But, yeah, it, it can be a little pricey.
All right, we're gonna put some of these clips all the way around it. You know, these are bendy, these are spring clips. I just, it keeps the diamond painting in the front of the frame. I just press it and push it under the lip. I will do probably two on each one. Two on each side. And trust me, it's not going anywhere. And then we're gonna see the final reveal. I really enjoyed doing this diamond painting. It was a lot of fun. And metal frames are a lot cheaper than wood frames. Um, wood frames, some of the ones I've bought, I've paid a pretty penny for, trust me. All right, you guys ready? I think it turned out really good. Like I said, I do wish the blue could have been this blue. That was my, oh, I scratched it. I scratched it up there. That's okay. It's going to be on the wall. You're not going to see it. So I think it turned out really good though. Yeah. So now I'll take you guys downstairs so you can see um, where I'm going to hang it and how I hang it. Let me pause the video. I will go and get my um, picture hangers. I use the 3M picture hangers and they work great and they don't make holes or marks on your wall. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I get the large picture hangers that can hold up to 16 pounds. And how I do it, they're like Velcro. They're, they're they have, uh, yeah, they're like Velcro. So I just line them up. Hear that? I will squish them together. Actually, you want to make sure they are really, really straight, though, when you do it. I, that wasn't that straight when I did that. They peel apart pretty easy, so if you mess up, you can just... Oh, I did, I did it good that time. So I peel off one side. Stick it. Now, with the metal frame, I will stick it a little bit on the inside because you, you don't want the lip hanging over... The edge there, obviously, you would see that. And I really, really press. Wait a minute, did I do it right? Yeah, I did. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Yeah, um, this does not make marks on your walls. Uh, my husband told me I cannot put any more holes in our walls. <laughs> Like when we move and I have to patch up my office, it's going to be so many holes in there. It's going to be crazy. Oh my God. But lately, I mean, for the past couple of things I framed and hung, I've used these. So, and I just eyeball it and I try to get it as even as I can with the other one. And just, I run my finger up there and press it. Okay, it's time to go downstairs and hang this because I'm going to hang this in my bedroom. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to take you guys down there and we're going to hang it up. Okay, I am going to hang it right next to the rainbow peacock woman. I'm just going to hang it right there because I'm going to actually leave those spots up there open for like, I have two other eye paintings that are like that way. So I'm going to leave that those spots open. But obviously you have to um, peel off the back and I hope you can see that. Yeah, you have to peel off the, um, the other side of the picture hangers so you can stick it to the wall. And I'm just gonna eyeball this as best I can. Or maybe I should do it down here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do it down here. And then I just press really hard, put like all my body weight on that so it'll stick. Like I said, the picture hangers will hold up to 16 pounds. That frame is not 16 pounds. Oh, it looks so good up there. Oh, I mean, you guys can't really see it on that. 
Doesn't it look good up there? Hell yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let me pull you guys back so you can see the three that I have on my wall up there already. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it looks so good. Because probably what I'll wind up doing is, um, it's almost like you want to have the same size going across. I don't have too many that are like this perfect square. I do have a bunch that are 30 by 40, so that won't be a problem doing it, doing that. And then probably the Celia that I'm working on, um, I may hang that here and just go across with those because I have another one I'm going to do. So I'll have to see, like maybe the ones that I frame from now on, I'll have to look through my stash and say, okay, what ones do I have that are 30 by 30 or 25 by 30 where I could get it close and be able to hang them. And maybe that'll dictate the ones that I do in the future, at least the first couple. So yeah, I think that's looking so good. It turned out so good. All right, guys, I'm going to end this here. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight of how I, you know, custom frame a diamond painting. I will link the products down below that I used. And I will also link, um, you know, that frame, like the Fiesta frames on pictureframes.com. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.